Anti-Griefers, the group that dedicate their lives to protecting the streets of GTA Online. As we all know, GTA Online has a bit of a griefer infestation problem. In every lobby you join, there will be at least one griefer rat who is relentlessly bullying low-level players or grinders looking to earn money. Oh no, this is very sad. Is there anyone that can protect these players? Yes, there is. Enter the Anti-Griefer. The Anti-Griefer is exactly what it says on the tin. If this player finds a griefer, he will stop at nothing to anti him. Like Batman perched atop a tall building, this player will scout out the lobby and offer his protective services to anyone being attacked, regardless of whether they want it or not. Now, if you play GTA Online for any longer than 5 whole seconds, the existence of this type of player makes a lot of sense. Of course, in GTA Online, a very popular method of earning money is selling shipments of cargo. Given the game's frequent bonus money event weeks on these activities, a lot of people are still choosing this money making method, especially in the early game when you're first starting out. The player will first allow their business to create the product over a span of in-game time. Then they must deliver it to a highlighted point where they will receive their big fat payday. Just like the professional always says, if you can snort it, you should transport it. However, this is where the problems arise. This span of road between their start and end location is prime time for griefers looking to perform some tomfoolery. Given it can take an average of 10 to 15 minutes to complete a full delivery, this is ample time for the griefer to pounce upon his prey. And here enters the anti-griefer. The anti-griefer is a perfectly trained, perfectly equipped soldier bred for the sole purpose of countering griefers. The anti-griefer has trained and practiced for hundreds of hours to tackle griefers. They are well aware of every dirty trick the griefer has in his playbook and instantly knows how to counter everything they have in their arsenal. A grinder could be driving along peacefully with their cargo when all of a sudden, boom, griefer attack. This is very scary. Look at this poor little grinder absolutely shaking. I am so scared and sad. But what's this? An anti-griefer wielding the same overpowered vehicles as the griefer but with actual skill. Finally. This poor grinder has been saved. I am now very happy and not sad. The griefer believes the oppressor Mark II to be his ally, but the griefer merely adopted the Mark II. The anti-griefer was born in it, molded by it. He didn't see any other vehicle until he was already a man, but by then it was nothing to him but grassless. You see, despite there being many ways an anti-griefer may come about, like wanting to create a YouTube channel focused on fighting griefers, or a PvP player who's bored and looking for a fight, the most dedicated anti-griefers, the ones that truly know the griefers inside and out, are those that were once griefers themselves. You see, a decent portion of anti-griefers are simply just ex-griefers who have seen sunlight, perhaps even lick some grass. These players grow out of their griefer playstyle and use strats and tools they learned as a griefer to combat their old allies. For how fun it was to act as the GTA Online villains for a while, most people do want to be appreciated rather than hated. Griefers are a group that use hatred from others as a quick way of gaining vast amounts of attention. This is all well and good for a while, but it does eat away at them over time, even if they say it doesn't. As a result, these griefers turn to the light side to do good with the lessons they've learned as a griefer. For who better to counter griefers than ex-griefers themselves? Oftentimes, after finally gaining positive recognition for helping others, they'll make friends outside of the griefer community and enjoy GTA Online in a much more rewarding way. It may be easier and it may be quicker to gain attention from griefing, but overall, anti-griefers find their new playstyle to be much more rewarding. But of course, not every anti-griefer used to be a griefer themselves. The other large side to the anti-griefers are the YouTube PvP community. Over the years, there has been many that have taken up the role as an anti-griefer for their content. From the likes of Putter to Nitrix Warlord, to Joker for Life and Gilly Master, from Mech Pro to You vs Pro. These players create content fighting griefers, and oftentimes, those griefers will act as the villain of the video. The best YouTube videos follow a narrative, with a beginning, middle and end, and usually with a clear hero and villain. Griefers, who are usually acting like a rat, are prime candidates to become the villain in these videos. With the YouTuber being able to show off their skill, the villainous griefer getting what's coming to him, and of course, the grinder princess getting saved. 
This is what's so great about the dynamic between griefers and anti-griefers. Absolutely everyone benefits. The griefer gets the negative attention they crave, and the anti-griefer gets a fun fight, and sometimes gets to create some fun content. However, with the popularity of the anti-griefer playstyle, this is where they can cause some problems too. When little Timmy decides to replicate his favourite PvP YouTuber and become an anti-griefer, he'll begin to wield his very own hammer of justice, and use it to smite the evil griefers of GTA Online. Sadly, for the rest of the player base, little Timmy is wearing a blindfold and is swinging this hammer blindly. If you dare to have a KD over 1 or dress up in too dark a shade of black, little Timmy will pull out his oppressor mark 2 and go to town farming you in the name of destroying griefers. What's this? You're defending yourself against someone attacking you? How dare you? How little Timmy arrives on the scene to punish you for griefing. Yes, there was context to explain why you were attacking someone. No, little Timmy does not care. The worst examples of this are on PC, where these epic anti-griefers will patrol the lobbies of GTA Online equipped with a mod menu to kick anyone who dares to begin a fight in their lobby. Even if that fight was totally justified and fair. These anti-griefers are like Batman, but instead of beating up the criminals and putting them in jail, he just puts a bullet in the heads of anyone with all four limbs necessary to start a fight. Well done Patrick, we've saved the city. I think anti-griefers can sometimes fall victim to taking their role as GTA Online Police way too seriously. It's nice when you help out a grinder safely deliver their cargo, but when you're trying to force those interactions by going after everyone and anyone, then eventually, like Horseshoe Fairy dictates, the anti-griefer ends up acting the same way a griefer would, just for different reasons. And honestly, this is a huge problem in every community. No matter where you go, you'll find grassless individuals who take this game and their role in it way too seriously. Whether it's a griefer that genuinely hates grinders, or an anti-griefer that causes way more harm than they try to stop, problems arise when they take things too seriously. If you're an anti-griefer, the best way to play is reactionary. If there's a griefer in the lobby causing some kerfuffle, perhaps even a little tomfoolery, you're free to try your best to stop them. However, if you're looking for these types of fights, eventually, you will become the very thing you swore to destroy. Like Harvey Dent from Batman said, you either die with grass or you live long enough to see yourself become the grassless. The most important thing to remember about all groups in this case game is that none of them can exist without the other. Grinders will get killed by griefers and griefers will be killed by anti-griefers. The group you hate is the very reason your playstyle exists. If you take things too seriously, you might just destroy the very reason you want to play the game.